Hi guys, Blue Hunter back and we've got another game haul for you. A um, few bits today, uh, three, five consoles and an extra bonus bit on the end for some gaming kind of memorabilia if you like. So let's take a look at what we've been picking up. So first off, a game that I can't believe I haven't played. I played all the others in the series, love the series, never got around to playing this uh, or picking it up, I don't know why. It's Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening. Picked up for two quid, uh, still using my credit that I've got from CEX. And it, it's in this nice slipcase. Nice artwork on the back of Dante and Virgil, the brothers. And with this one, obviously you get your disc, you get a bonus disc, a demo of Monster Hunter. I'll put it in, it looks like the same Monster Hunter I had on the PSP, um, but still, it's nice to have. Book's in pristine condition, not been touched. Um, some other little bits of paperwork in there. So, finally going to get to play this and see the bit of story I'm missing. Now, I picked up a couple of bits on the Wii. Uh, we've got Gunblade Arcade Hits Pack and LA Machine Gun. So, nice arcade shooters. Give it a blast. It's a lot of fun. Just obviously basic graphics, but just shooting stuff's always good. Uh, pick that up for three quid. Then one, one I've seen that um, I had to get just because of the title, and it's Ninja Bread Man. <laughs> Why not? Uh, two quid, again, used on the credit. Ninja Bread Man. I have played it a bit. It's a bit of fun. You are literally a Ninja Bread Man. You go around with your sword, hacking stuff up, like um, cakes and what have you. Everything's in a... The world's all set up with um, everything's made out of fruit, cakes, sweets, all that kind of stuff. So that's a bit of fun. And there's our disc for Gumblade. Now moving on, we've got some OG Xbox again for you. Starting off with a game I played back in the day, uh, borrowed off a friend, I uh, never got to finish, and now I finally have it, is Enclave. I'll pick this up three quid. Again, using the credit. Ooh, so we're gonna get to play that. Got a bit of glare on lights. It's still dull outside, it's awful. So got a bit of lighting, so it might get a bit of reflection. And uh, one I picked up uh, not long ago, actually, uh, for just 75p. Fantastic film, awesome movie. I'm hoping the game does it justice. Um, not played it yet. The Great Escape. Steve McQueen on his motorbike and just say so he gets to play or use the motorbike so that'll be fun. It's in good condition. 75p. Uh, and the Great Escape does work on the 360 as well, whereas Enclave doesn't. And these other two OG Xbox games I've got for you as well, they both work on the 360 as well, which is nice. And the first of the two is the Punisher. Two quid. Got me a bit of Marvel, a bit of superheroes, and just obviously terrorizing people, torturing them, killing them in various different ways. It's always a bit of fun. So there's our Punisher. I think this one even came with, yeah, a two month trial card, not used, still still kind of sealed. And I'm finding these a lot in the games so that people just didn't use. Two months? Remember when we used to get two months free? Now you get two days if you're lucky. Crazy. And the last one, the best of the OG ones, I think that I picked up. A game I've been after for ages. I've been looking at it online, and the price is relatively high. Um, but I got it for a decent price. And I just went into CX just on a on a random day, traded the game in, um, had a quick look round, and seeing this, and I was like, wow, I can't believe this is in it. Never seen this in the world before. And like I say, game I've been after, and it was just there. Bard's Tale. Can't wait to get into this. I played the kind of the beginning bit of the tutorial. Um, it kind of takes 
kind of takes the piss out of RPGs as well as well as being a good RPG if that makes sense obviously you start off in a tavern go into the uh, cellar and kill the rats kind of thing but then it turns out all not as it seems and stuff kicks off and even on the back a quest for coin and cleavage what more could you want so there is our bard's tale looking forward to getting into this and we've picked up one on 360 game um a friend's played and said it's, it's pretty good uh, so for 250 we've got never dead never played it um so give that a blast so that turns out what game score and one that you already know i have we've got our resi what was it resi 6 hoodie on we've got with the limited edition of course resi 7 Wow, what a game. So this is a new title. We've got the limited edition steel box. We've got a slip case. And then our steel book there. Obviously this is in my console because I'm playing it. So here's the picture side. We've got the Baker family. And with this one we did get some uh, DLC survival pack with some items and what have you now obviously this game's been out a little while um i've completed it twice on obviously easy and normal the kind of two lower difficulties um just started the um kind of higher difficulty and it's nice that it changes changes the game like enemies come from different places puzzles are different and that so that's nice and Wow, what a freaky game. Like, it's messed up. I knew nothing about this game going into it. Like, I didn't watch any trailers, um, didn't read upon any reviews, nothing. I knew nothing about this game. Obviously, only that it was first person. I had played the kind of demo that they set out, which I'm kind of glad I did play because it is different to what's in the game. That bit is it. <coughs> that mansion is in the game, but different things happen, if that makes sense. It's relatively the same, but there are a lot of differences. Uh, so that was nice that it didn't really spoil it because you still didn't know what was going to happen. Um, yeah, just freaking messed up. Awesome game. Proper got myself into the game. Uh, playing, obviously, in the dark, late at night. And it just <laughs> messes with your mind. It's so freaking. It's great with headphones on as well. I put on my second playthrough and playing with headphones and it. So good just hearing all the little noises around the house and getting freaked out and trying to work stuff out and the only downfall is I think the puzzles like the puzzles were so easy and just yeah almost pointless but some of them were a good nod to old resi games like there are similar puzzles to what you've used and even though the game's in first person it is very much a Resident Evil game like the same kind of items and guns and all that kind of stuff still in it, it just feel Resident Evil even though obviously you're not using the characters um, from pre previous games. It's, it's a whole new character, a whole new story. And it's a great kind of Resident Evil getting back into the survival horror. Good um, reboot, if you like. Um, so, yeah, really enjoying it. And if you haven't played it yet, definitely pick it up. Such a good game. So, there are pickups for this week. I've got two extra bits for you to have a look at, like I said. A um, friend of mine selling a few bits and he asked me if I'd like to pick these up, um, which I definitely did. Uh, so with um, Fallout Shout coming out now on the Xbox, which I've been playing and actually got it on in the background. Um, I've got some Fallout bits for you. So we've, with our Fallout Pit Boy edition, if you've seen that video, picked up, we've got our Bobblehead Charisma free. And my friend had got, <coughs> sorry, Two more bobbleheads. He asked if we ever wanted them, so hell yeah. We've got energy weapons and melee weapons bobbleheads from I think the first series, yeah, from series one. So there's the series that you can get. Have a quick look for you. So our melee weapons, there comes with a big hammer, it's pretty cool. And energy weapons comes with a ray gun. That's pretty cool as well. 
So still in the boxes at the minute, uh, but we'll be getting these on the shelf and on display. And obviously looking out for some more of these. I have been looking online. Some of them get quite expensive. Um, but we're looking at getting a few more. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know about the games. If you have any of these games, if you've played any of these games, what you think about these games, hit me in the comments. Um, hit some like if you have enjoyed. Thanks to all my new subscribers uh, for sticking with me and checking out my videos. Much appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.